the idea behind the festival really originates with the uh, Walker Arts Center in the U.S. They've started a couple years ago to package these really wisely um, and incredibly popular uh, internet cat videos on YouTube and all sorts of platforms for videos. It's just for cats video, it's a whole compilation of, of small segments of interesting, funny uh, videos made by a whole heck of a lot of different people all put together and shown all in one sitting. Very interesting, very funny, very humorous. After all, all cat lovers like cat videos. What films are you excited to see tonight? Those are my favorites as well. What do you think goes into making a great cat video? We decided to bring it up to Canada. We partner with the Canadian Federation of Humane Societies. For us, it's truly a half celebration of the amazing cultural phenomenon that are these videos that we literally can't take our eyes off of, uh, and uh, to shed a light uh, on the sometimes not so great welfare of cats uh, up here too. Uh, we love them on the big screen. Uh, we love them on the small screen. Uh, we love them in our homes, but some of them are not doing great. We have three of them up for adoption here today to sort of put attention to that. This is definitely my first cat festival well I don't know you know I like cats and uh, I've got a, a good little cult following of music and you know part of part of my repertoire with the world is uploading pictures of my cats and talking about all the dumb shit they do and that's that's always good uh, as for here at the cat festival at the tiff light box it's uh, kind of more of a show of support for uh, the Toronto Humane Society and uh, animal welfare cat welfare and just here to support <laughs> The videos are chosen in the U.S. by the Walker Art Center. We've narrowed it down a little shorter. We think 65 minutes is the prime amount of minutes people should be together in a room to watch these videos. And we get to do a red carpet and have sort of an event around it so that the time frame makes sense. Uh, as for the videos themselves, uh, they're the best on the internet. They're the most popular. So often they're a compilation really of what's been the most popular in the past eight months online. And you realize when watching it with other people that it's clear that some of them are extremely popular because as soon as the first frame of a, one of the dozens of videos come, people erupt in laughter or clap or, you know, they already know these videos and they finally get to sort of share it with their potentially new friends in the audience. This is Oreo. He's a five-year-old boy. And as you can tell, he's, a, he's got a little bit of size to himself. He's been with us for a little while. He was transferred to us from, uh, from another shelter. And hopefully tonight with everybody here and putting him on TV, he'll find himself a, a home to go to. The popularity of online cat videos completely soared in the past two, three years. For me, I think it's because uh, cats have a sense of personality or that's something we can really see through them that I don't think other animals really uh, can show as much. There's huge myths around cat from across history and now that it's uh, the online part that comes across is we get to see a narrative arcs within 10 second videos. Cats go from walking very proudly in their kitchen to falling off and appearing embarrassed and we get to see this sort of switch of emotion. It's like. Yeah, it's like, it's like real life unfolding uh, with a ton happening within even 10-15 seconds. <laughs> it's a fun, funny event with, uh, with an important bent to it. I wish it goes well and I wish that, you know, all the, the goal of uh, creating awareness towards Cats' uh, welfare in the greater Toronto area is achieved.